I'm assuming you have used the earlier program to find out what the inflection point for the sensor value is. So let's assume that 300 is a point which is the inflection point where any value greater than 300 would result in a color of black in the front or less than 300 is essentially a color of white. Now we will write a program which is basically a line follower program. So let's see how to go about it. We will first drag and drop start. Then we will do a, nor a small loop. Again an infinite loop to ensure that the robot keeps on doing this again and again and again. So this is an infinite loop. Now what we will do next is we will absolutely read the two sensor values sensor S1 and sensor S2. We will do comparisons now. We will first drag and drop an if else statement and do a multiple comparison. A multiple comparison is important because it results in finding out the values of two sensors at the same time. So if we are using S1 and S2 sensors there are going to be four cases. This is the first case, first of the four case. Here let's assume both sensor S1 and S2 uh, is on white. So which means both have a value less than 300. So sensor 1 is less than a constant which is nothing but 300. We'll choose an ampersand ampersand because as you can see this we have to compare the two values together. Now we'll say a sensor S2 again it is less than constant which is nothing but 300. Now we'll say since we don't want to elongate the statement further we'll say logical operator is none and as you can see the statement is created here. If sensor S1 is greater than 300 is less than 300 and and sensor S2 is less than 300 which means both the sensor are on white. So in that scenario what do we intend to do? In that scenario we would want our robot to go forward which is straight. So we'll go to motion. As talked earlier port 1 is clockwise direction. Port 2 is anti-clockwise direction. Now this means that when both the sensors are on white or either on either sides of black line we keep on going straight. But what if my sensor S1 which is which hits a black line. So essentially meaning that it's a right turn and we need to move right around with the black line. So if that happens the condition would be again I'm going to drag and drop an if else statement. My second comparison again a multiple comparison is sensor port 1 is greater than 300 which means it's actually facing a black line right now. Ampersand ampersand sensor port 2 is less than 300 which means the sensor 2 is facing a white line none done. Now once this is done what if one sensor the right sensor was facing a black line and the left sensor was facing a white line. So that means we need to turn around turn towards right which is nothing but motor port 1 is going to move towards anti-clockwise direction and again motor port 2 is again moving towards anti-clockwise direction. I am sure you can recall to many discussions in the class why both the motors turning in anti-clockwise direction would result in, in right turn. So once that is done let's come on to the next statement. So now we have handled a case when both the sensors are pointing at white. We have handled a case when right sensor is pointing at, at uh, black and left at white. So we need to turn towards right. Now let's handle a case where right sensor, sensor 1 is facing towards white which is sensor 1 is less than 300 and sensor 2 is greater than 300 or in other words none 
the nerve in other words my left sensor is now facing a black line and my right sensor is on white so that means i need to turn left i'm sure you'll be able to visualize that once you have done that turning left would mean our motor port 1 is in a clockwise direction and motor 2 is also in a clockwise direction that will result in a left turn so once done that now we come to the last statement so if you look observe carefully the last statement would be nothing but when both the sensors are facing a black line so in that scenario you know depending upon what you want to do in irc league you would want to do a little different thing where you would try to grab the ball but here i am assuming this uh, when my both sensors are facing the black line then i need to just stop again i would like to caution or warn you this is just a line follower not a solution to an irc league for problem statement that you have to do in your own so let's do that on the last scenario i am asking the robot to stop because port 1 is now stop and so is sorry port 2 port 2 is stop as well and we can now go to a stop this is what the program for a line follower would look like i hope you enjoyed the project suspicious item has been detected i'm going to save it as line follower Suspicious item has been detected. And once is that is done, I will do a compile. It's still waiting for the compilation. Yes. And once it successfully so compiled, I can burn it onto the brain and my software is ready. Thank you.